Well, good afternoon and welcome to Ed's Orchids. And we'll just have a look in the uh, indoor growing room today, see what there is. This is where I generally keep all the uh, Phalaenopsis, Angraecum, Phalaenopsis again, Phalaenopsis again. And there's a couple of Paphia pedlums up there. There's four mounted ones there. But I brought you in really to have a look at these catlias because the They've been doing nothing for ages and now the roots are going absolutely crazy. You know, I know with uh, catlias they uh, sort of discard the roots every year and grow new ones every year. And it looks like it's doing just that. Uh, some of them are in bark, some of them are in, in coconut husks. And originally I didn't think the uh, coconut husk was doing very well. But, uh, so I put the... Uh, what are they called? The uh, golf green hairy pigs in uh, coconut husk and they're doing very well. So we'll just go around and, and have a look at, uh, at what's what, have a look at the roots. There's nothing in sheaths but uh, I think there will be towards the end of the uh, end of the year. There'll be quite a lot. Well the first one we'll have a look at is this one. And here we have up here, and there's a load of dead roots on the side. Oh, let's see if we can have a look at it properly down here. Got some nice new roots growing, you can see there. And if I take it out of its pot, I'm just wondering if there's any uh, underneath. We'll just have a look. No, there's nothing growing uh, underneath there, just that one big root there, but uh, doing very well. You know, it's a sign of things to come with all that. And I've just mentioned the Dawiana, so we'll just have one quick look at it. Beautiful green tips on these. Plenty and plenty of roots on this. So hopefully this is going to do well. Hopefully, because I'd love to uh, flower one of these. And I think if I ever flower one of these, I wouldn't keep any other cat layers. I'd just rest on my laurels and try something else. Now this is the uh, King of Taiwan, which I, I chopped all the roots right down because they were getting far too long and repotted it. And it started doing nothing, but it's now put a nice shoot up there. And it's going, uh, getting some nice roots growing. Maybe sticking out all over the place in a bit, these. So lovely, that's doing okay as well. So this will, uh, I will think this will definitely bloom at the end of this year. The King of Taiwan. Now this is one of my golf greens. In fact I only have one plant but I split it because it was doing nothing. And it doesn't look like it's doing anything there. But if you go down here. And underneath. The roots are going absolutely crazy. That's one golf green and now I'll show you the other one. And this is the other one. Very tall plants now. That's a nice new growth there. But this is showing some nice, uh, nice root growth on top. And also coming out of the bottom again. Look at it. Roots galore. All the way around. So I'm very, very hopeful for these. It looks like I've got them in the right place. And they're under the Mars Hydro Light. So uh, I'm going to leave them there and do exactly what I'm doing to them. Which is, uh, in fact, I'm watering these about... Uh, 
two or three times a week when it gets really warm in here. But unfortunately I'm going away on Friday. So uh, I'll give them a good water in Friday morning and they'll not get watered that week till I get back. But uh, being cat layers, they'll do fine. And this is the uh, cat Leanthe, Luke Torn African Beauty. And uh, this too is not doing bad on the roots. And they're much thicker than the others, these. There they are, look at them. Look down the inside. Plenty and plenty of roots on these. Ooh, some round the other side as well, there we are. It's a bit difficult holding the camera with one hand and, and filming and trying to move everything round with the other. But that's the Luton African Beauty and that's doing very, very nicely. Well, we'll just look at the uh, Angraecum sesquipedale. I showed you some roots growing before. And uh, look at these. These are really, really coming on. If I go around the back and have a look, there's another three there. There they are. So that plant's not doing too bad. And I said before, if you see them going yellow here, it's 10 to 1 they've got uh, mealybug. But uh, I'll just have a look at this because I'm sure this hasn't anymore because I've just treated it. But I'll have a quick look. Well, there's no mealy bug on that, and it's a shame that these leaves droop. You know, instead of being all up like that. But uh, this is putting one up in the middle, so uh, this is going to be all right. This I keep this nice and well watered. Uh, the uh, Chiliriana phalaenopsis, that's coming up with a spike. But only signs of one or two little buds on it, that's all. But nevertheless, it's a spike and we'll see what it's like when uh, when it develops. A couple of little blooms there, but these are the only ones I've got at the moment. There's one or two dropped off, but everything coming to. I just browse round them. Got those four from here that Sheila sent over for me. See if I could do anything with them. Because her greenhouse doesn't get warm enough, I've said before. And in here at the moment it's uh, 24.3 degrees centigrade and 77 percent humidity. I'll just go over here to have a look at these. Looks like I'm getting a nice collection of uh, Phalaenopsis now. And some more over here. And the four mounted ones I've got here are uh, the Phalaenopsis loyi. And what's happened here is that it's, came, it's well, the bark has split into two. I think the roots have uh, pushed it away, but they're just holding it together. So I'll have to stick that on another piece of wood now. Uh, plenty of roots growing, but uh, no sign of new growth at the moment. This was a Phalaenopsis cakey that uh, I put on uh, on a piece of wood and it's got a nice new root coming out there and another one going into the bark there. Uh, ooh, what's this one? Arangus. Uh, oh, I can't think of it. Mr. Cedar. Arangus Mr. Cedar. This is one that's doing okay. Not dying off like the other one. Putting a new growth up there, which looks very nice. 
And the last but not least, this is growing very nicely, and this is a Mazda Valia Gutter Etsii, as I've shown before. Plenty and plenty of roots on this. I think it should do with some of that uh, that moss that Sheila's got. I think I'll scrounge some off her and uh, try and put some round this one, and hopefully it'll bring it into bloom. Might do, but there again, it might not. But we can only try these things. Well, that's about all I can show you today out of this grow room. That's everything I've got in there. I haven't shown you the two uh, Phalaenopsis up there because uh, they're not looking uh, right spectacular at the moment. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. And until next time. Oh, and thank you to everybody who's wished me a happy birthday for next Sunday. I shall be in Anglesey. So thank you very much to everybody. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.